So we click on the Add Tasks icon. Uh, we look here and we've got, I've obviously already added a bunch of tasks, not, not to delay you. So initiate the project office move, plan and set up the project, work on the project, confirm moving dates, get at least three quotes, select the moving company, discuss floor plan, do cleaning, parking, and so on. Right? And then I go into edit mode and I'm in edit mode in this very simple grid. Well, let's do some planning here. Let's say that these tasks work on the office project move. Let's say the first one is going to start on, let's say it's Tuesday, April 3rd, right? Six days from now. And I'm going to drag that down and say for all of those tasks. And let's say they finish on April 12th, all of those tasks. And I can say, yeah, I think that one will finish on April 12th. This one here. We're going to assign this to James Corbin, and we're going to assign this one to Anne Wallace. And in fact, we think we'll drag that one down for Anne as well. So you get the idea that you can plan quite easily uh, your tasks in terms of the tasks, the timing, the status, not started, deferred. So let's say, for example, this one here is, uh, is deferred for the moment. And then we press stop editing. Now it will of course save all the way through, but I stop editing at this stage.